first of all we're going to start with a new patch in pigments. Put the play mode on the gato, glide time at around 100. Turn down the chorus to 20, minus 24 semitones. Waveform at saw and then unison at 7, detune at 3%. I always use the mini filter because it has this drive function and it sounds really nice. So that's already a basic base, but we're going to take this a step further by adding some distortion. sound go crazy with this. to the sound with some chorus, you can add some noise. I usually uh, I put it on analog, add some noise. Um, put the noise to the second filter, put the filters on parallel. Then either what you could do is put a bandpass filter here and just very subtly just have have it there in the background but what's even more fun is when you add a very low pitched sine wave and then put them both through a mini filter Turn up the drive and you get this. Really mean sounding reese, very thick. This can cut through any song, so this is really nice. You can go as crazy as you want with this. some distortion. As you can see the possibilities are endless. These are a few ways that you can make your reese bases and pigments a little more interesting. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for future tutorials in pigments that you want to see. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification button thingy and I'll see you next time.